Coach Thomas or was he himself captain? Questions? Well, I mean, it's still reaction to that one. I guess we didn't see the uh, that coming. Sorry, it's as well as something. Is there a bigger one? Yeah, it's got quite a, a convincing loss. I guess none of us really saw a loss of that moment you coming. Uh, no, we certainly didn't. Well, the Blues were superb, really, really superb. Came at us early, got us physically early, and we didn't stay in the fight, you know, and I thought they deserved, they deserved the win, they deserved the marginal win. Uh, yeah, I'm extremely disappointed with that performance. It's, it's often said that, um, let's not call them weak points, but areas where you're not performing as well as you want to can often get hidden But when you're getting positive results. And then when you get a negative result, those get highlighted. Yeah. Is this maybe not then a sort of timely wake-up call? I mean, it is still early in the season. No, it's a massive wake-up call. But I think probably for me was was the most disappointing thing because something we prided ourselves on the whole time was our sort of physicality and you guys have written a lot about character and I think both were absent today. I think we looked like, um, we, look, we began to look like victims. You know, we looked, you know, we just weren't working hard enough. We were sliding off tackles, we were giving yards on attack, uh, giving them yards on attack. So that's the most disappointing thing. Look, it's a great wake-up call for what becomes a massively important game against the Sharks. But uh, it was very disappointing. But hang on, you know, I, I don't know, I'm not sure what the Blues said, but to my mind, they they really hit their straps today. 35 missed tackles, though. Yeah, we weren't happy with... There are a lot of the outside elements in our game. We, of course, we were lots of elements we weren't happy with, you know. Uh, but, uh, missing the amount of tackles, generally our work rate, uh, generally our stopping power. I thought they stuck, probably said piece was cheap as the best. Yeah, very, very best to be nice to us, even though probably less than that. Though. Stephen, what happened in those first 20 minutes? I mean, from the first minute when the ball was kicked out on the full, I mean, it was just as if you almost felt like you guys didn't, didn't mentally pitch in those first 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, I think it felt exactly like that, like there was no, um, not a good warm up at all, um, going into the first 20 minutes, I think the Blues just came out more hungry than us and um, just had us in the back foot from the beginning, you know, all credit to them, they had an uh, unbelievable start to the, to the game and we just had no answers in the first 20 minutes, I think we found our feet a bit towards the end of the first First off, it showed some some good moments of brilliance, two tries, and then I think it just couldn't capitalise after that, and they just had us under, in uh, just had us in our own half for most of the second half, and what, we just you know, was that try was that try on half time with the real sort of psychological killer blow? Yeah, I mean you'd come back quite well then. Uh, yeah, I think we actually fought fought back quite well, um, and then slipped a couple of tackles on on their wing and. Moved the ball across the field and scored on the stroke of half time, which is which wasn't great for us. And I think coming into half time, we were a bit depressed and um, heads were a bit hanging. So, yeah, we just have to find a solution next time and um, fight, come back fighting stronger. Stephen, why did you say there was an issue with the warm up? What was that? It felt a bit um, lethargic. Um, made a couple of mistakes. Uh, Oaks were, uh, I don't know how to put it, like, wasn't really in the zone, and um, it's just something we have to look at. Um, I mean, having a great start, having, having your first 20 minutes in a Super Rugby game is almost the most important. Coming, having a great start, uh, putting teams under pressure, and just keeping that momentum is, is actually key to, to winning the games. But well, you're talking about your pre-match routines, so the yes. and so on. Yeah, it felt a bit lethargic mm -hmm. and. Yeah, just the mood wasn't great. Historically, this sort of thing does happen even to the teams that win the competition. I mean, and if you look at the season as it's gone so far, I mean, like Brumbies beating the Chiefs last weekend, I mean, they, you, you guess, and even the Rebels to some extent winning yesterday. Um, you just get those though. I mean, is this a case of you've got the bar coming up now? Um, I heard Matt ask you after, no, I think you must have asked Stephen after, afterwards whether it was um, good to be having a bar now or, or not. Um, I can't remember what the answer was, but but, but uh, is it maybe the, the, the bike come at the right time? Because now if you've got a wake-up call, you've got two weeks before your next game. Yeah, look, I, I prefer not to have a bike now and put this right as, as soon as we can, because I don't think that's who we are, what happened today. Or in fact, I know it's not who we are. So I know we'll be back. Um, 
Yeah, um, maybe it's coming at the right time in terms of we pushed five games, which is a lot in terms of the same team almost, and maybe I should have said from that point of view, it's a chance to recharge. Um, I know we'll be completely different in Kings Park in two weeks' time. I've got no, absolutely no doubt about that, because I think the guys will all agree inside that was not who we are. So maybe it's a good time to reflect. It's, it's miserable to have to hide behind <laughs> wear dark glasses and a cap for two weeks, but they <laughs> <laughs> deserve that. Uh, Tom, do you feel you learn more from defeat than victory? I always, yeah. always. Yeah. <coughs> so, yeah. <coughs> the side is relatively young. Um, I mean, you were lethargic in, in the, in like Stephen was saying, in the, in the warm up. Do you think perhaps the, the four wins and, and you know, the hype around the, around the team and keeping the same team throughout, do you think that sort of got to the players, the, the younger players in the side, and uh, to their heads? And how do you think this, this loss, at, especially at the time, was not as crucial as it was late in the season? Yeah. Fixes, do you think that is yeah, I thought you'd lost you. Go back now and you find all these reasons that we sat on the bus wrong. And uh, <laughs> no, it's a, it's a reality. Um, you know, to, you know, if we we could have picked, picked up us the Jaguars team was that one game too many. And this is what we did wrong again last week. But we won it. So you know, it does give us an opportunity to have a good look at us, a good look at ourselves. I, I don't think we've changed too much. Uh, um, I don't think we got stuff. We didn't have a chance to be tactically in the game. We were beaten from the start, you know, we were under pressure. We are sitting there in the second half thinking, what do we say, what do we do? You know, I'm not sure, we just couldn't get the ball, we couldn't get the ball. If you go penalty, 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 like doof, 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 one player gives away three penalties and a half, you're going to be under the cost, you know. Um, just worried about our little our character in the first half, that's probably the, the thing that worries me the most. At the, at the same time, and it sort of goes back to my very first question, which is that, when you're winning, you, you sort of hide things. I mean, yeah. and I've sort of already done this in my match report, you suddenly then look back, at the previous games and you look at what went wrong there and you think, well, maybe maybe some chickens are coming home to roost that those things should have been sorted out then. I mean, is there maybe a tendency to do that as well? In other words, because you weren't, I mean, apart from the Hurricanes game, you weren't that resounding in, in the other games either. So now you sort of look back and you might minimize what yeah. you've done up to now. If you know yeah, what I'm yeah. I, think it's absolutely, I think it's absolutely valid. I think we know where our, where our issues are that we wanted to work on technically. I said the thing that, that just made us a bit Sad was um, how we didn't stand the fight today and our sort of character. That made a, bit, a little bit sad, but we were blitzed early. I mean, to be 20 points down at Super Rugby within 20 minutes or whatever it was, it's, it's a long way back. And I agree with you, was it you, Gavin, who said, you know, 2014, I thought we're back because this is going to half time. We had a line out, get in there, and we'll say, okay, now we can get. We had sort of plans for them, and we knew when they were going to tire and this sort of thing. And I think suddenly walking there, 27 14, suddenly. To take a lot out of us, so. but there are stuff that yeah, it's gonna. I always know how this works. You know, what would have been an off day tomorrow is now a day of massive introspection, which may be good for us. And, and this might sound like idiotic because I know you're not at altitude at the moment, but the last time you played on the start flinging hot day, you said that the guys managed themselves a bit, and you started flat at Ellis Park as well. And you don't think that maybe there's that problem? Again? Yeah, couldn't agree with you more. I thought we were. It looked like we were managing ourselves. Darwin, the one thing is obviously, I mean, if you. Well beaten, you can't mind about the referee, but uh, you know, Nick Mallet looked in our light at half time that the uh, scrum calls that went against you guys, the, the two penalties, was actually Skull Dugley that they Lucid got away with. Um, and you know, I thought the scrums were actually quite crucial um, in, in the momentum of the game. I mean, does that sort of annoy you? Well, I suppose, I mean, you, you probably still have to go and look at it. No, no, I saw the scrums. Uh, one of the things we're worried about in the in the, in the pre-match was Carl's um, angle, and I thought it's exactly what we saw would happen, hoped wouldn't happen, happened. Felt a bit for Wilco there, because when a, when a loose goes in that angle, there's not much he can do. Either you follow him, and then he's gone for skew, or he's... Stay, uh, yeah, it's, 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 you know, then he goes like this, or he lets, he, you know, it's tricky, or he exposes himself. So, I think that uh, the scrum was, the scrum <coughs> was something we will certainly have a look at. But again, at, you know, we've got those two penalties, 30, 14, whatever it was. Can't complain too much. Um, on the, you talked about the 2014 and coming back on the buzzer, uh, that line out yeah. um, inside your office. Is that the, the call to go deep? Um, or is that just a call on the moment? Yeah, this, the, the, yeah the, the, the call is... Yeah, I trust them. They they know where they think the ball's on. It was it was just overthrown. Mm. I think that was and and obviously cost us. I think I could have lived with that because that happens. You're not going to get 100% lineups in rugby, 
uh, I think then for him to beat six four at the left wing or to be to beat six forwards like that was that wasn't the bit that really scared us, you know. Mm-hmm. Although we, you know, in our normal stand, and I think we can't say that that what happened today is us. You know, we've seen enough of our defence over the last four games before this to know that's not our normal stand. Then just hold it out, okay? We'll get the we'll get the ball, we'll turn it over, and then we will go to half time. But for us, that's where we only were in trouble. The way that we got beaten then, the thing after that. Yeah, disappointing. A couple of skew throws also disappointing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dobo, just with the, um, with the, on the defence, um, do you think you guys were maybe going in a bit high in yeah. terms of the tackle? Because it seemed like they were getting a lot of handoffs in and that often happens. Yeah, I think maybe we got that wrong. We were mm. worried about the amount of offloads. We know they're quite a, they're, they're quite a high team mm. physic, so we wanted to sort of stop that. Maybe we went a bit high. Mm. But uh, we, went, we went to the races today. Mm. We weren't in our terms of attitude and how we worked. We weren't. It's, no, no excuse. We we weren't. Mm-hmm. I mean, the interesting thing is uh, also. Um, I mean, obviously we we have kind of spoken about this ad nauseum about line kicking and so on, but um, you know, they just uh, I think it might even have led to a try, so it wasn't that significant. But um, just the you know the distance um, on a penalty like that, you know, almost felt. Um, like a throwback to Peter Grant, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm uh, not kicking with enough ambition to the you know to touch. Yeah, I mean I saw they saw it uh, this morning in the Sharks game. You know, when they were getting the Sharks got penalties, those things were drilled into the five yard. Mm. Yeah, we have we ask against them more at the moment than the ten or twelve meters if we want to score a more try. Mm. So it is that it's that is a concern, you know, not having a left foot on the field. And especially get right hand penalties, puts Gaza under a lot of pressure, it makes it very hard for him. That is a concern for us. Gentlemen, thank you very much. We'll see you uh, in a good number of weeks. Yeah. <laughs>